announces the change that has come. Now, McChrystal, a lot of people on the right are saying that, well, you, you let go of a good man, a good man who has a battle-hardened experience, you know, that Petraeus doesn't have. Mike, when you look into who this guy is, McChrystal, and who he was and what he's done, you find out he's dirty. His hands have blood on him. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the, the blood of Pat Tillman, he was in charge of the special forces when Pat Tillman was murdered by friendly fire. Mm-hmm. He was the one who first put out the report, Mike, that he was killed by enemy fire. Even and, then, though, and then the story changed. It said, oh, it was friendly fire. Everybody knew. Uh, we have a, a video posting. You could check it out right now. Everybody knew that it was friendly fire, including Petraeus, within the first 24 hours. It was clear. There was no debate about uh-huh. it. So he lied. He lied and tried to cover up, saying it was uh, enemy fire, even to the point of giving him the silver star, Mike. Now, when you do that, you're saying you were killed in battle Mm -hmm. by enemy fire, by the enemy. So he went that far to try to cover this up, that it was friendly fire. This isn't a good guy, okay? He's not committed to the truth. He's not committed to taking care of the troops. And even when there's been a murder, and let's recount what happened there with Tillman. He was only 10 yards away. You know, on a football field, 10 yards? Yep. Not very far. Ten yards to rush for a first down. You could see, even if you have uh, your eyesight's not that great, you could see somebody pretty clearly, whether it's friend or foe, ten yards away. And he was shot by one of his own men in his Rangers outfit, Pat Tillman, three shots to the forehead, bam, bam, bam. I mean, that's execution style. This was a hit. Mm -hmm. Why? What would be the motive? Because he was mouthing off about the war, particularly mm-hmm. about Iraq, how immoral it was, how we had no oh. right to being there, how we're making things worse. He was being vocal. Mm-hmm. No doubt this got back to the Bush administration. This happened under Bush's administration. That this guy, who, Mike, the most famous uh, guy in the military we have, right? At that point, nobody that was point, more yeah. famous than Pat Tillman in yep. the military. Here was a guy that gave up a multi million dollar NFL contract. Gave it up, walked away from that, said goodbye to his wife, Marie, and his mother, Danny, and he went in to become an Army Ranger. You know? He was so upset didn't want about 9 11. Yeah, but he, yeah, he quickly he was so became upset about 9/11. disillusioned about what yeah. they were doing there. Tillman found out the truth being there, and he started to mouth off. The last thing the administration wanted was Pat Tillman to come back and start doing the rounds with the media. And start yeah. telling what was really going on there and yep. why this celebrated hero, he <coughs> was a hero. Yes, he was. He signed up, quickly uh, went up the ranks, became an Army Ranger, which is an elite group. Yep. Uh, they didn't want him being uh, anti-war He He shunned the press and everything. They didn't want the press around him. You know, they built him up. Well, Jeff, get this. There's going to be a documentary. There, there's a new documentary that's coming out called The Tillman Story. And filmmaker Amir Barlev interesting name for a filmmaker so it'll be interesting the kind of point of view you get he explores the controversies and the roles numerous high powered political and military figures played in falsely reporting how Tillman died and turning his killing into what his mother Danny Tillman called a quote unquote recruiting tool for the US Army yes one of the high powered figures highlighted in the film for his alleged deception is Jeff the General man we've been Mc- talking about. McChrystal, Stanley, Stanley McChrystal. McChrystal, big ears, flappy ears, pointy ears. Uh, this guy is no hero, folks. Uh, getting rid of him, we're not losing anything. In fact, the war there is going worse since he took over. Exactly. Uh, the deadliest month yet has been this month. Okay? June. Things are just getting worse over there under McChrystal. We're losing ground. Yeah. This guy should be locked up. He is a criminal. Uh-huh. He is along complicit. with Bush, and, along with Bush and Cheney and Condoleezza Rice, all of them. But Mike Obama doesn't get off on this because who appointed? No, 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 no. Who he, appointed he serves, him to take over Afghanistan? He stands accused too. 
And don't tell me, folks, uh, let's not be naive that Obama didn't know about McChrystal's involvement oh, he knew. in Tillman's murder he and cover-up. Come on. He's commander-in-chief he now. See, this is, this is the thing you have to understand, folks. We're, we're, you know, we may bash Republicans a lot, but don't forget, we bash Democrats, too, because Jeff and I know the truth. And those of you that listen to the show know the truth, and eventually everybody out there with brain one in your head that isn't wedged up your you-know-what <laughs> will come to realize that neither party...